Hi, this is Yvonne Pran, and this is part of our series on Bible study tools, Three Ways to Read Your Bible, and this is part three, to read it for study. Reading your Bible for study should be part of all of our lives, and there are numerous times when we want to do this. We might be studying a passage that perhaps we're going over at church or in a small group, or perhaps a topic has caught our interest, and so we start looking up various verses. Also, too, you might hear something on radio or television, and you don't really understand why the person who was speaking came to a certain conclusion, or you hear a verse used in a certain way, or perhaps you're studying other religions and you're you're wondering now is that really how the passage um, was intended to be used first of all you always want to check out the entire passage read the whole thing read it in context and understand the purpose of the book for example when you read about sacrifices Leviticus in the Old Testament talks about how they started what were their purposes but then when you get to the book of Hebrews it talks about how all of them were fulfilled in Jesus so if you're wanting to study the topic of sacrifices you want to look at all these different areas now one of the best ways to find that out is to read Bible commentators they can be very very useful these uh, Bible commentaries are where Great people of the faith in the past have studied the scriptures deeply and share their conclusions with us. This is a wonderful site to go to BibleClassics.com, and there's another little video on this website that actually takes you through it. But before you go to that, let me just give you a couple of cautions, because although commentators are absolutely wonderful to read, very, very valuable, Keep in mind that every commentator has a grid through which they see scripture. Um, the ones that are on the Bible classics, even just the selection of, of those particular commentators is very, very selective. These are all Protestant commentators. These are all evangelical commentators. These are all commentators who believe the Bible is the word of God. There are many other sites on the web where you find commentators that might be equally convinced that the Bible is the Word of God, but they will approach it from a Catholic viewpoint, or an Orthodox viewpoint, or a Pentecostal viewpoint, or an Armenian viewpoint, and there are many, many ways to um, that commentators look at scripture. Um, there are covenant theologians, there are dispensational commentators, and the most important thing on this is just realize that this is going on. And it helps if you know where that particular particular commentator is coming from. If you are not familiar with them, if you're unsure of that, look up their biography on the web. Um, Wikipedia, is it's just a simple secular one, and it'll tell you, oh, so-and-so is a... Um, uh, Calvinist or a dispensationalist or one of the great Catholic theologians or whatever it is and that way it helps you know what viewpoint they're coming from. This is also why it's very important to read the many commentators. Read a variety of them. Don't just read one because um, you always want to check it out with the Word of God and you always want to be aware that no commentator is 100 percent right. Commentaries are not scripture. Uh, sometimes this is a little bit dangerous when um, a commentator has perhaps written a study Bible. I'm not a big fan personally of study Bibles that are just by one person because that's their notes now so long as you realize it's one person's notes, it's a fallible human being, this is not scripture, um, you'll be okay. But so often people because the notes are written right on the Bible page, they tend to think that they're 100 percent true, and that's that's just not that's not always the case. So uh, some commentators that I do like and that I highly recommend, uh, the Geneva one. This is one by um, John Calvin, Matthew Henry's Spurgeon's. His commentaries on the Psalms are are priceless. They are absolutely wonderful. Uh, Gill is a classic Baptist uh, theologian, and Fawcett Brown and Jameson the three of them, um, uh, their commentaries all together is also an excellent one. So check out BibleClassics.com and read, just read through some of the commentaries, read several of them, skim through them. This is a very easy way to access them through this site and use it to enrich your understanding of the word, but never allow it to take the place of God's word in your study.
more training, videos, overviews, lots of stuff about the Bible, please go to livelifebythebook.com. But most important, go to church. Go to a Sunday school class, interact with people, get live Bible teaching, and learn how to live your life by the book.